Thomas Haida. I'm 25 years old. I'm originally from a country in a small country in East Africa called Eritrea. That I'm born and raised in Norway, in uh, Oslo, and I'm uh, working as an occupational therapist. I also have a master degree uh, on public health science, uh, and I'm working uh, in a psychiatric institution for drug addicts and persons with mental disorders. Uh, I'm also married with a convert as well. Yeah, I was uh, originally a Orthodox Christian, Christian, and uh, and I wasn't so religious. Uh, me and my family wasn't so religious. And um, in 2005, when I was 16 years old, uh, I wanted to get closer to God. And I had many Muslim friends at that time. And uh, uh, I began to be interested interested in Islam uh, because they had a good influence on me. They affected me in a good way. And uh, in the summer 2005, I was going in on a vacation to my home country, Eritrea. And uh, then I was discovering that uh, there were Muslims there because my parents had always taught me that that was a Christian country, and all people were speaking Tigrinya, who was the main language in Eritrea. And uh, I got surprised that uh, it was Muslims there. And I also, um, but my grandparents was uh, really religious, and they was practicing Christianity. And I went to them, to the church, and when I got to the church, I also got surprised because it, it was no benches there, as in the West, when you are visiting the church. And then I saw them praying their ritual prayer. And then I was discovering that they almost pray in, prayed in the same way as my Muslim friends. They were doing the ruku and the sajda and so on. And then I got more uh, interested in Islam. So when I got home, uh, I was talking to my friends after playing football and so on. And they was always talking about Islam and God and uh, the next life after death, uh, the day of judgment and uh, life in the grave in Barzakh and so on. And then I got more interested in uh, Islam. And I was active a listener. And uh, in the same summer, we uh, were going to see a movie called uh, The Passion of the Christ, who was mainly about Isa alayhi salam. And that was with my Muslim friends. And before we was uh, starting the film, a Muslim friend of mine was cursing uh, Isa alayhi salam. And uh, my other Muslim friend was uh, interrupted him and said that, why are you cursing Isa alayhi salam? He is also our prophet. We also believe in him, as uh, same as we do uh, with the other prophets like Adam, Nuh, Musa, Abraham, uh, Jacob, and so on. And then I got surprised because I didn't know that they also believe, as, uh, believe in the same prophets as we did. So I got shocked. And uh, then he continued to talk about the mother of Jesus, uh, the Virgin Mary, uh, may peace be upon her. And uh, he was talking about that she had uh, a whole chapter in the Quran was named after her. And then I was more shocked and I, was, uh, I became more interested in Islam to learn more about Islam because now I understood that it's more similarities between Christianity and Islam than differences. So I was starting reading books about Islam and I was uh, attending conferences, lectures and so on. And then some of my friends was in the, uh, were inviting me to the mosque and uh, I went to them 
and the mosque was uh, welcoming me good. They were appreciating that I was coming and so on. And in the mosque, it was lectures and every Sunday. So I went with them every Sunday and uh, the uh, Imams at that mosque was talking about God, uh, the paradise, hell, and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his Sahaba and his Ahlul Bayt. And uh, I got interested again. And they was planning a trip to Sweden. It was like a form of Quruj. Uh, it's almost the same as Iktikaf. And uh, I wanted to join them uh, to that trip because they was going to visit another mosque in Sweden. But I wasn't sure what uh, to tell my mom because I know for sure that if I was telling her that I'm going to, I want to go to a trip to Sweden with Muslims, uh, she would never allow me. So I come up with an idea that uh, I should tell her that I was going to attend a football cup. And my mom didn't believe in me 100% because it was just uh, one week before the cup I was telling her about it. And uh, she asked me why didn't she had uh, some more information from the coach handed out information uh, and then I said to her that uh, it's, uh, many teams have uh, decided to not to attend to the cup so we had the opportunity to attend for maybe 15 pounds and, uh, and so on. And then she believed in me and I was packing my stuff and was leaving to Sweden. And at that time I wasn't Muslim yet but I was uh, getting more and more interested in Islam and I was uh, thinking about convert to Islam because I at that time I uh, thought that that was the right religion and the right way uh, and so on. So when I came to Sweden I met a, a guy, a Muslim guy from my home country and he got surprised when he heard that I wasn't a Muslim. So he started uh, uh, encouraged me to become a Muslim and he was also pushing me to become a Muslim uh, but I was telling my friends that I wasn't ready yet to become a Muslim uh, because uh, I didn't know what I was going to tell my mom and my family and so on and my friends was talking to him and said that we shouldn't push him he has free will he, he should choose uh, for himself and so on. And then he said that, no, if we wait, he should be a Muslim on this trip before he is leaving back to his family in Norway because if he, has, if we, if he don't become a Muslim now, uh, he may be, be affected by his family and uh, maybe don't decide to convert to Islam. And shaitan will also maybe prohibit him from converting and now he know the truth about Islam so he has no guarantee if he lives for next week or next year and so on uh, and then I was reflecting about whereas I should become a Muslim then or wait uh, when I was leaving back to Norway so the same night I was uh, up all night with my friend I was talking to him and was reflecting about whereas I should become a Muslim and he was telling me that you shouldn't feel uh, uh, oppressed to become a Muslim you should do it when you are ready and so on and then I was telling him that I was ready to become a Muslim but I didn't know what uh, I should tell my mom when I got back to Norway again because I noticed something with my mom that uh, the more I read about Islam and at, was attending the mosque and the conferences and the lectures I noticed that she had a hatred towards the religion and Muslims she had a negative uh, picture of Islam because of the media uh, she was always reading the newspapers she was always 
seeing on the, the news on the television about uh, Muslims and especially after uh, the attack on the Twin Towers in 9-11 and uh, she has so much mis uh, misconceptions towards the religion why are women why are men allowed to marry four women why have uh, why do, does women need to cover them up with hijab and niqab and uh, why are Taliban and Al Qaeda Muslims group killing incidents on the TV and Christians and non-believers and the Muslims are going to take over the world uh, because they are uh, and they want to take over the world and that is why they are uh, having so much uh, many children and so on and uh, the same night I talked with my friend and decided to become a Muslim the next day so we went to a room with uh, imams and some scholars and uh, I was saying that I was ready to convert to Islam and they was uh, they want me to confirm for sure that I uh, believed in uh, Islam and that was the right way for me and so on and they was talking about talking with me about Islam, they was giving me some kind of uh, summary of the religion and the rules and the way I have to live and change my life and so on. And then they wanted me to take a shower. Maybe it was like a, a form of ghusl or something. And uh, they asked me if I had new clothes or clean clothes to wear on afterward before I was going to take the shahadatain. And I hadn't uh, clean clothes left so my friend was giving me a clean uh, sweater and this is the same sweater I had on today it's uh, eight years ago that I had the same sweater on when I was converting to Islam and uh, then I took the shahadatain and that was the best feeling uh, in my life when I came home, I uh, was afraid because I have a sister who was one year older than me and a brother who was six years younger than me and we have much common friend friends. Some of my friends were uh, in the same class as her so if they got the news that I have become a Muslim she will know for sure and when she uh, got the news I know that she will tell my mom. So the news was spreading uh, in my neighborhood in the same way as fire is spreading on dry grass. So the news was reaching my mom uh, and she also found my prayer mat underneath my bed. And uh, she was calling every in the family to a meeting because she uh, was confronting me about the uh, rumors and the evidence. And uh, she was crying and everybody in the family was there. And And then I didn't want to admit that I have become a Muslim because I know she maybe would get a heart attack or something. And uh, I was just telling her that I was just telling her that I have been interested in Islam. I have read books and I have uh, visiting the mosque sometimes but I haven't become a Muslim yet and then I was hiding my faith for maybe one year after that and